Auburn University's summer commencement ceremony will begin in five minutes.
please rise for the graduation processional.
Welcome to Auburn University's Summer 2019 Commencement Ceremony. We will begin our ceremony with the presentation of the colors. I ask that all gentlemen please remove your headdress for the presentation of the colors and during the national anthem, and please remain standing. March on the colors. Philip McGowan, who is graduating today with a Bachelor of Music in Vocal Performance, will lead us in singing our national anthem. He will be accompanied by the University Graduation Band conducted by Latoya Webb, Graduate Teaching Assistant for the Department of Music in the College of Liberal Arts. Thank you. Retire the colors. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce Auburn University's interim president, Dr. Jay Gouge. This is a, a great day in the life of Auburn University. It's a great day in each of your lives, and I feel honored to be able to share it with you today. I want to welcome you formally to the summer 2019 commencement ceremony. I'm going to introduce uh, some members of the platform party. I'll ask that they stand, remain standing, and that you hold your applause until we introduce them all. Other members of the platform party will be introduced later in the program. Representing the Auburn University Board of Trustees is Mr. Michael DeMaribus. Dr. Bill Hargrave is the Master of Ceremonies and the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Bobby Woodard, Senior Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. James Weinemeyer, Vice President for Research and Economic Development. Ms. Jane DeFalco Parker, Vice President for Development and President of the Auburn University Foundation. Mr. John Wagner, Secretary to the Board of Trustees. Dr. Nedret uh, Billor, she is the University Senate Chair and Professor in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. Dr. Maria Whitty, Associate Dean, Graduate School, Professor in Adult Education. Dr. Shelley Zong, Dean of the Libraries. Dr. Frank Bartal, 
uh, Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Studies in the College of Veterinary Medicine, Captain Willie, Willie Bing, Billingsley, uh, Commanding Officer, Navy ROTC, Dr. Eric Wetzel, Mace Bearer, Assistant Professor in the McWhorter School of Building Science, Dr. Jefferson Jones, Graduation Marshal, Associate Professor in the School of Accounting, Major Edward Chris, Executive Officer, Army ROTC, Mr. Rick Smith, Commencement Reader, Lecturer in the School of Communications and Journalism, Mr. Stephen Geis, Interpreter for the Deaf, the Office of Accessibility. Let's have a round of applause for these individuals. <laughs> at all great universities, faculty are at the very heart of what we do, and we have representatives of our faculty that are here today. This morning I was able to share that uh, faculty made a request at graduation that over the years they have widened a little bit and they wanted their chairs to be a little bit further apart. And so faculty, if you would, please stand. We'd like to say thank you for everything you do. Faculty. I would like the candidates for graduation to please stand. If you want to get a degree, stand up. Candidates, uh, I would like for you to have the opportunity to say thank you to those that are here today that helped you along the way. So a round of applause for your friends and relatives. Thank you. Please be seated. <coughs> to our graduates, uh, we're extremely proud of you. We value your determination, your sacrifice, your discipline your intelligence and that special Auburn spirit. You've earned a valuable degree that will be helpful to you both professionally and personally. Today you join Auburn graduates in which we began in 1856 and we've awarded 331,177 degrees since that time. This summer we award 1,343 degrees at the doctorate, the masters and the baccalaureate level. Very simply, I want to say congratulations to each one of you in War Eagle. It's an honor to introduce to you our distinguished commencement speaker, Dick Ingerson. Dick earned his bachelor's degree in business management here in Auburn in 1970 and received his law degree from Emory University. He took the knowledge he gained from his time at Auburn and used it to found two companies of his own, the certified public accounting firm of Gifford, Hillgas, and Ingerson, and the Ingerson and Taylor law firm. Under Dick's leadership, GH&I became one of Atlanta's top certified public accounting firms and has completed a merger with Warren Averett LLC, one of the largest accounting firms in the Southeast. Dick has also served on the managing partner group for the Leading Edge Alliance, one of the largest international accounting associations in the world. Dick's gifted guidance and expertise in accounting are not just evident in the success of his companies. He has been recognized with numerous industry awards, including the Innovative Firm Leader of the Year in 2003, the Public Service Award from the Georgia Certifi Society of Certified Public Accountants, and the School of Accountancies Alumnus Award from right here at Auburn. Dick does not shy away from giving back to his alma mater and his community. He is a former board member of the YMCA of Metropolitan Atlanta and served on Auburn School of Accountancy Advisory Council until just last year. Dick and his wife Terry, herself a 1969 alumna of the College of Education, put their belief in the power of an Auburn education into practice in 2015 when they established the Dick and Terry Ingerson endowed chair in the School of Accountancy. Not only does Dick Ingerson love Auburn, we here at Auburn love him back. This year, the Auburn Alumni Association honored Dick with a Lifetime Achievement Award, the highest honor the association bestows on members of the Auburn family. 
He is also a member of the 1856 Society in recognition of his enthusiastic philanthropy to our university and has supported Auburn for 25 consecutive years for which he has been honored in the Catherine Cooper Cater Circle member of the Foy Society. Dick is a true Auburn man who puts our institution's values into action every day and he is proof that working hard and following your passions can lead to great success. We're thrilled to have him with us today and I'm looking forward to hearing his inspirational message. Please join me in welcoming Dick Ingerson. Good afternoon, Auburn. It's great to be an Auburn Tiger. I extend my warmest greetings to Interim President Gouge, Provost Hardgrave, Board of Trustees, the faculty members, parents, relatives, friends, but most of all, to the graduating class of 2019. I'm grateful and humbled to be standing up here in front of this talented and driven group. When I was asked to deliver the commencement speech, I'd be dishonest if I didn't tell you I was surprised, if not shocked. On one hand, I'm honored to present this to my alma mater, but on the other hand, what advice do I give a bright, youthful, and diverse group as this class of 2019? Of course, when I found out I was going to do that, I got uh, some advice on my speech, and my, my wife said, Dick, you know, shorter is better. She said, uh, also from some of my senior faculty, said, Dick, don't forget the three B's of the speech making, and that she said, be, be funny, be short, and be seated. <laughs> so I, I have to cover a few things, though. To, to put things in perspective, it's been about 50 years since I was sitting in your position as a graduate. I came to Auburn as a student athlete to receive a quality education and to play football for legendary coach Shug Jordan. We had a lot of good wins, we had some tough losses, but the highlight of my career here was in my senior year we beat Alabama 49 to 26. That's my applause uh, deal. We, uh, uh, it was the most points ever scored on a Bear Bryant uh, coach team. So that, that was a lot of fun. All my teammates feel the same way. The, uh, also, the enrollment has doubled since I was here. There are many new buildings and facilities, and the campus is even more beautiful than it was then. It's become a lot more walkable as they've cut off a lot of the streets that used to run through campus. and. And now you can't do that. Now you can just walk through. But the key, even with all those changes, is that the family atmosphere has never changed. So, and hopefully, it never will change. On the brink of your commencement, whether it be as an undergrad, a grad student, or a PhD candidate, you're probably experiencing a wide range of emotions. You may be feeling invincible ready to take on the world. You may be feeling terrified and uncertain of your next steps. You may be right in the middle, secure in the fact that you've had a superior education in a field that you enjoyed, and you're ready to start putting theory into practice. Any and all of these feelings are absolutely normal. Give yourself permission to explore them and to understand them, and then push yourself beyond them. You are a valuable asset. You have an education from a nationally ranked land-grant institution. Now, you just need to be sure to have the determination, the perseverance, and the empathy for your fellow humans. But without a doubt, the most important thing you're going to leave Auburn with is your academic training from a well-respected university, a university which is now ranked as a prestigious R1 Carnegie Research Institution. Remember, this, your college 
Graduation is a great and a wonderful start for you, but learning and education is a lifelong process, so you, you have a long ways to go. In my life, I found it helpful, well, really essential, to determine to have priorities that I would never abandon. I need to do all that I can to maintain my physical, mental, and spiritual health. Without this, I wouldn't be able to accomplish my three top priorities in life. My number one priority is my family. When our sons were growing up, I enjoyed spending time interacting with them, coaching youth sports teams, helping with homework, and in attending school functions. And I'm so glad that I was able to do that. I also made, made uh, a priority spending time with my aged parents. I knew that I wouldn't have them forever, and I was proud that I was able to travel and spend about a month a year uh, with them. That was very rewarding and creates lasting memories, which I'll always carry with me. My wonderful wife, Terry, who I met at Auburn, has shared all of these experiences with me, making them all the more special. Having someone you love to share life's joys, successes, sad times, and failures is unbelievably important. She has provided love, support, and encouragement the whole time. My number two priority is my profession as an accountant and attorney, which consumes a large quantity of my time. I believe it doesn't matter what you do, but you should do it to the best of your ability. To do this, you need to have a passion for your chosen career. If you love what you do, then it rarely feels like work. In my business career, I've been very fortunate to hire numerous Auburn graduates. My experience is that Auburn people clearly follow the creed, particularly the first tenant, I believe in work, hard work. Many nights and weekends nearing tax deadlines, I would look around and it was always the Auburn graduates who were still there. My third priority is to give back. It's important to me to give back to my church, my local community, the larger community, as well as to the university that paved the way for me to get started on my career. I've given time to serve on advisory boards here at Auburn, and I've been fortunate also in my ability to back Auburn financially in the form of endowed student scholarships and some professor chairs with that. I, I always tell people, and I, I love this, it's sort of, I got this from uh, Sir Winston Churchill, who said, we make a living by what we get, we make a life by what we give. And, and I found that to be so true. My final piece of hard-won insight is don't be afraid to fail. Life gives you many chances to rebound. You may never reach your potential if you don't try. Mistakes are part of experience, and it's experience that leads to wisdom. Auburn has produced many great citizens entrepreneurs and leaders, and you could be one of them. I had four great years at Auburn, and I've carried the Auburn spirit with me all these years. Everyone who knows me knows I'm an Auburn graduate, and I'm very proud of that fact. I'm also proud that anyone I know or ask who attended Auburn love their experience. It's the only school that I'm aware of that has so much consistency on that. I'm also proud of a lot of Auburn graduates who've had tremendous careers, and I think it's a great reflection on the university for, for these people out there. It's great to be an Auburn Tiger. When I travel, and I've been fortunate to travel in a lot of places in the world, if I'm wearing or carrying anything that indicates I'm from Auburn, it's amazing how many times I get a War Eagle shout out. What a great family this Auburn family is. Try to stay as connected as you can to Auburn for as long as you can. 
it will enrich your life. Congratulations, class of 2019, on your well-deserved honor and diploma, War Eagle. Thank you, Mr. Ingerson, for your inspiring remarks. It is my pleasure to recognize several groups of students who are graduating with academic honors. First, I would like to recognize those undergraduates who are graduating with honors based on their cumulative grade point averages. Students with a grade point average between 3.4 and 3.59 graduate cum laude and ask our cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. Students with a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 graduate magna cum laude and ask our magna cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. Students with a grade point average of 3.8 and above graduate summa cum laude and I ask our summa cum laude degree candidates to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. 1979 marked the beginning of the honors program at Auburn University. In 1998, that program became the Honors College. Honors College students graduate either with the distinction of University Honors Scholar or Honor Scholar. Would all those who have earned the distinction of University Honor Scholar or Honor Scholar please rise? You may be seated. Phi Kappa Phi is Auburn's highest all discipline academic honorary, and members represent the top 10% of each college or school on campus. I now recognize those initiated into Phi Kappa Phi, please rise. You may be seated. Student marshals are selected by deans and associate deans from all undergraduate and graduate schools. These students are honored for their notable academic achievement and commitment to service. They will be recognized individually later in the program by each college or school, but at this point I'd like to ask each student marshal to rise and be recognized. You may be seated. I would also like to recognize our military service members. Would those degree candidates who are commissioned in our military services please rise? I now ask that all active duty and veteran service members, both graduates and those in the audience, please rise. Thank you for your service to our country. We now come to the conferring of degrees, starting with the Doctor of Philosophy. Would Dean George Flowers of the Graduate School please come forward. Would Jericho Leonte Johnson please stand. <laughs> On behalf of the faculty in the Graduate School, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Jericho Johnson. Jericho is from Rock Island, Illinois, and is receiving his Doctor of Philosophy in Kinesiology. He completed his undergraduate studies at Morehouse College in 2014 before arriving in Auburn for the Future, Summer, uh, Future Scholars Summer Research Bridge Program. He completed his master's degree in exercise science in 2015, 
Upon graduation, Jericho has accepted a postdoctoral research position at The Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. Please join me in congratulating Jericho Johnson. Now would all the candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy please rise. Trustee Demeribus, Interim President Googe, and Provost Hardgrave, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these doctoral candidates for the conferral of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the doctoral degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. Congratulations. The Doctor of Philosophy is the highest degree awarded in the Academy of Universities. Part of the tradition associated with the awarding of this degree is a special ceremony involving the presentation of a doctoral hood. Would the major professors of the doctoral candidates please escort your graduate to the stage to be hooded as Professor Smith calls their name. Members of the registrar's office will direct you to the stage. Dr. Jericho Johnson, headed by Dr. Mary Rudisil. <laughs> Dr. Rebecca Riggs. Fitted by Dr. Vitaly Vodanov. <laughs> Dr. Cesar Pazzo Quintana, fitted by Dr. Maria Witte. Dr. Clifford Mosley, hooded by Dr. James Woody. <laughs> Dr. Sarah Elizabeth Diamond, hooded by Dr. Leanne Skinner. Dr. Hu Tong Shi, hooded by Dr. Rex Dunham. Dr. Errol Sozin, hooded by Dr. Yi Ming Li. Dr. Brandy Deku, put it by Dr. Wendy Weimer. Dr. Portia Williams, hooded by Dr. Gretchen Oliver. Dr. Jeff Barfield, hooded by Dr. Oliver. Dr. Sarah Gascon, hooded by Dr. Oliver.
Dr. Matthew Romero, hooded by Dr. Michael Roberts. Dr. Don Michelson, hooded by Dr. Carla Teal. Dr. Horan Zhang, hooded by Dr. Damien McIntosh. Dr. Trang Lee, hooded by Dr. Curtis Jolly. Dr. Hong Yu Chen, hooded by Dr. Nan Nan Lu. Dr. Frederica Hamilton, hooded by Dr. Liu. Dr. Zhao Chen, hooded by Dr. Liu. Dr. Baxley Bynum, hooded by Dr. Chapewa Thomas. Dr. Claudia Calder, hooded by Dr. Thomas. Dr. Elizabeth Motts, hooded by Dr. Thomas. Drs. Leslie Wofford, Hooded by Dr. Thomas and Dr. Curtis. <laughs> Dr. Ching Yu Si, hooded by Dr. Dennis Nyoldiak. Dr. Yushen Sun, headed by Dr. Annette Kluck. Dr. Ellis Bernstein, headed by Dr. Randolph Pipes. Dr. Ann Conroy, hooded by Dr. Pipes. Dr. Sarah Flint, hooded by Dr. Jamie Carney. Dr. Megan Renee, hooded by Dr. Carney. Dr. Eric Fish, headed by Dr. Pete Christofferson. Dr. Hannah Schakowsky, headed by Dr. Victoria Cordulo. Please join me in congratulating these new doctoral graduates. Now would all the candidates for master's and specialist degrees please rise.
Trustee Demeribus, Interim President Googe, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the graduate faculty, it is my pleasure to present these masters and specialist candidates for the conferral of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the master's and specialist degrees to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. <laughs> Graduates will come forward as Professor Smith calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. Julia Corcoran. Deborah Stewart. Jeannie Payne. Rosa Jackson. Lauren Van Strain, Tanya Gainsford, Bruce Daniels, Sabrina Diagostino, Clary Peterson, Natasha Voigt. Miranda Newman, Caroline Elliott, Claire Heron Husson, Taylor Schillerberg, Michael Warren. Jameson Brown, Nicole Beasley, Laura Bannon, Jordan Payne, Catherine Snow, Laura Tremudolo, Kimberly Drew Stearns, Laura Delvers, Emily Sanders, Courtney Bass, Dion Dutton Armstrong, David Lowry, 
Kristen Merslack. Kristen Smith. Tina Deshera. Jenna Wilson. Caitlin Carter. Nigar Sultana. Austin Brown. Morgan Knapp. Cortland Harcrow. Jonathan Moore. Zach Hutchison. Gabrielle George. Morgan Davis. Sydney Peach. Alexandra Fitzsum. Allison Sennard. Caitlin Freeman. Ching Hyun Chong. Kapang Shi. Stephanie Burchill. Caitlin Gatoni. Dustin McKee. Sarah Baker. Austin White. Taylor Barnes. Victoria Mackey. Jessica Broussard. Janet Adams Cash. Julie Rogers. Grace Colbreth. Jacob Phillips. Jeremy Robinson. Brittany Lee Leonard. Alexis Harris. Kimberly Jordan. Jerika Bohannon. Sokia Chenevert. Jalen Witherspoon. Eric Liddy. Michael Jewell. Alice Moss. Deborah Williamson. Michaela Cobbler. Paige Allison. Genevieve Cooley. Teresa Grundhofer. Daniel Hernandez. Patricia Weeders. Julia Kumral. Marquise Daniels. Yu Yan Wang. Allison Chua. Nashita Rout. Charles Harden. Stephen Adair. Garrett Prather. Brittany Thompson. Sarah Rendon. Catherine Knudsen. Rachel Estes. Elizabeth Dennis. Kaylee Popson. Alyssa Langley. Morgan Sutton. Hayden McDaniel. Mary Shelley. 
Amanda Stitt. Alexander Jesu. Timothy Palmer. Blair Radowski. Joshua Avaski. Caitlin Raver. Jesse James. Courtney Charlton. Zachary Dye. Marcelina Williams. Sherry Corbett. Anita Frederick. Tracy Baines. Wendy Lorez. Catherine Conradson. Jasmine Kataria. Lindsay Spencer. Christopher Leslie. Kara Stoddard. Ashton White. Elizabeth Aguirre. Catherine Wilson. Charles Henson. Kristen Coldiron. Alyssa Cross. Matthew Molino. Shannon Wilkerson. Christian Ramirez. Casey Nowell. Alex Kane. Please congratulate these masters and specialist graduates. We now come to the conferring of the undergraduate degrees. Mr. President, the deans of the colleges and schools will come forward and present the candidates who have been approved by the faculty and recommended for the appropriate undergraduate degrees. The candidates of each college or school will stand when presented and then be seated. Dean Paul Patterson, College of Agriculture. Would Nicole Ann Kublins please stand? On behalf of the faculty in the College of Agriculture, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Nicole Kublins. Nicole is from Newport News, Virginia, and is receiving a Bachelor of Science in Horticulture. During her time at Auburn, she became a member of Pi Alpha Xi National Honor Society for Horticulture, Auburn Horticulture Club, and Auburn's Campus Kitchen Project. Please join me in congratulating Nicole Kublins. Would all degree candidates from the College of Agriculture please rise? <laughs> Trustee Demeribus, Interim President Googe, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the College of Agriculture, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Please be seated. Dean Annette Ramph, Raymond J. Harbert, College of Business.
Would Evan Walker please stand? On behalf of the faculty in the Raymond J. Harbert College of Business, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Evan Walker. Evan is from Decatur, Georgia, receiving a Bachelor of Science in Marketing. During Evan's time at Auburn, he was a finalist in the Tiger Cage Entrepreneurship Competition. He was selected to be in the Advanced Personal Selling Program as well. During his senior year, he launched a restaurant technology startup business that leverages advertising and promotional processes for restaurants. In addition to growing his startup business in the Atlanta area, he plans on getting involved in other technology startups and using the knowledge he gains to help other young entrepreneurs launch their own businesses. Please join me in congratulating Evan Walker. And now would all the bachelor's degree candidates from the Raymond J. Harbert College of Business please stand. <laughs> Trustee DeMorabas, Interim President Googe, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the Harbert College of Business, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Please be seated. Dean Betty Lou Whitford, College of Education. Would Kyle Robert Monroe please stand? <laughs> On behalf of the faculty of the College of Education, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Kyle Monroe. Kyle is from Grant, Alabama, and is receiving a Bachelor of Science in Social Science Secondary Education. During his time at Auburn, he was an active member of the Auburn Model United Nations and served as its Vice President for two consecutive years. Kyle presented research on slavery in the Auburn area in the fall, at the Fall 2018 Symposium of Universities Studying Slavery. After graduation, Kyle will be teaching seventh grade social studies at Lott Middle School in Citronelle, Alabama, and plans to return to Auburn for graduate school. Please join me in congratulating Kyle Robert Monroe. <laughs> Would all degree candidates from the College of Education please rise? Trustee Demaribus, Interim President Gouge, and President Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the College of Education, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. In her first graduation as Dean, Dean Susan Hubbard, College of Human Sciences. Would Monklin Way please stand? On behalf of the faculty in the College of Human Sciences, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Monklin Way. Monklin is from Jinzhou, China, and is graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Global Studies and a minor in Human Development and Family Studies. Monklin was active as an undergraduate research assistant in the Health Equity Research Lab, was an intern with the Agape Mission International in Kathmandu, Nepal, and served as a human sciences ambassador. She was, has been accepted in the human development and family studies graduate program at Auburn University and will be attending graduate school here in the fall. Please join me in congratulating Munglin Wei. <laughs> Would all degree candidates from the College of Human Sciences please rise? Trustee Demaribus, Interim President Gouge, and Provost Hargrave. On behalf of the College of Human Sciences, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Dean Greg Neuschwander, School of Nursing. Would 
Maggie Michelle Hazelcamp, please stand. On behalf of the faculty in the School of Nursing, I would like to introduce our marshal, Maggie Hazel Hagelskamp. Maggie is from Birmingham, Alabama, and is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. This summer, Maggie took part in the nursing preceptorship at St. Vincent's in Birmingham, and after graduation, she looks forward to returning to St. Vincent's as a nurse in the cardiac step-down unit. Please join me in congratulating Maggie ha Hagelskamp. Now, would all degree candidates from the School of Nursing please rise? <laughs> Trustee Demaribus, Interim President Gouge, and Provost Hargrave, on behalf of the School of Nursing, it's my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of the bachelor's degree. Will all candidates for bachelor's degree please rise? By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Please be seated. Graduates, you will now come forward to be introduced as Professor Smith calls your name. Members of the Registrar's Office will direct you to the stage. Audience, please hold your applause until all names have been called. College of Agriculture, Dean Paul Patterson, Nicole Kubelins, Austin Blankenship, Benjamin Parmer, Jordan Morgan, Dakota Shamblin, Elizabeth McGuffin, Jonathan Melton, Madison Cole, Aaron Lux, William Story, Pearson Lowry, Judson Pittman, Mary Reed Prince, Tammy Cousin, Caleb Hammond, Savannah Blocker, Blakelyn Andrews, Christina Hoard, Taylor Dent, The College of Human Sciences, Dean Susan Hubbard, Malin Jackson, <laughs> Madison Shiflett, Shalisa Johnson, <laughs> Samantha Kelly, Amy Dunlap, Emily Forrester, Natalie Sapienza, Taylor Shelton, Caroline Walker, Taylor Wolf, Sabrina Angelo, Kendall Leslie, Sarah Hamilton, 
Elizabeth Simonian. Gaston Gary. Jamisha Tolbert. Makaya Wiggins. Mangalyn Wee. Jordan Duke. Camille Temples. Molly Faramon. Kinsey Kyle. Catherine Tate. Alexandra Peterson. Kaylin Oliver. Gabrielle Ingros. Rachel Samras. Stephanie Pinochet. Alex Bone. Robin Monroe. Harper Alexander. Caroline Watts. Nicholas Keller. Olivia Christopher. Brady Rivers. Sue Ellen Cummings. Jane Walsh. Jordan Panati. Sydney Surrett. Mary Claire Pouncey. Madison Lewinsey. Caroline Anton. Virginia Francis Summers. Isabella Renaud. The School of Nursing, Dean Greg Neuschwander. Madison Colbrett. Eleanor Hodge. Kathleen Haggerty. Emily Catherine Hicks. Taylor Zigfield. Lexi Damien. Hannah Bush. Julia Maynard. Lillian Keith. Kanara Jackson. Ellen Schloss. Kayla Sanders. Taylor Sumners. Sarah Folke. Maggie Hagelskamp. Anna Catherine Pacer. Melinda King. Anna Kuykendall. Wesley Gowers. Barbara Siegel. Juliana Mixon. Marina Stewart. Lindsay Thomas. Alyssa Anderson. Sarah Fortenberry. Anna Campbell. Gracie Merritt. Marley Selka. Peyton Barthel. Kelsey Platt. Haley Hackett. Megan Arnett. Allison Drysword, Hannah Martz, Kendall Weber, Avery Dukes, Adam Kosan, Taylor Ann Atkins, Tatum Balco, Wells Ford, Lucy Bailey, 
Hannah Drury. Anne Marie Kraus. Lauren Guy. Kiara McCluskey. Katie Thomas. Haley Buckaloo. Lauren Burke. Sally Harwell. Lauren Maiko. Thomas Henley. Joshua Gooch. Warren Hill. Katherine Wilkinson. Kara Borowski. Hannah Cape. Isabel Hawes. Hillary Kreider. Caitlin Schwenke. Ashley Chapman. Brooke Catlin. Mallory Kane. Brianna Dollar. Abigail Morris. Kendall Steele. Anna Collier. Savannah McKenzie. Emily Erdenberger. Olivia Joseph. Lydia Hafer. Caitlin Thompson. Margaret McAtee. Emily Poole. John Clark. Sydney Foxworthy. Emily West. Sarah Bragg. Anne Holland Morris. Catherine Valentine. Carol Ann Spearman. Katie Yonke. Jane Mulchen. Michelle Swiderski. Emily Pauley. Savannah McCallum. Millen Vera. Riley Salter. Matthew Defnall. Whitney Donaldson. Jennifer Horden. The College of Business, Dean Annette Rampt. Adrian Smith. Lavin C. Brown, Jr. Jim Fuller. Ryan Dorman. Gabrielle Yadi. Connor Thornton. Gordon Stutter III. Adam Cowson. John Schreiber. Benjamin Steves. Kimberly Sharp. Andrew Fallon. Brennan Colley. Gabriel Anderson. Jacob Horde. Marissa McKee. Christina Egbert. Evan Walker. Brendan Gray. Bailey Rogers. 
Jonathan Bryant. Sean Mosley. Tanner Klein. Devin O'Donnell. Austin Carter. Wesley Sanford. Austin Pennington. Caleb Kim. Cameron Davis. William McLaughlin. Robert McMath. Robert Maples. Evelyn Diggs. Sarah Drew Mulvaney. Mary Catherine Tuliatos. Emily Alexander. Lexi Devine. Lucas Rice. Anna Nicole Hopper. Kayla Bashirs. Madeline Thomas. William Skinner. Ben Reisdorf III. Taylor Herford. Jordan Henson. Victoria Goss. Rebecca Duvall. John Everett Brewer. Sarah Hanners. Sarah Bradbury. Ethan McDaniel. Jessica Knotts. Lacey Stallworth. Elizabeth Ellis. Edward Armstrong. Michael Weber. Nicholas Newby. Morgan Tomlinson. Patrick Barenko. Charles Flynn. Jacob Hyatt. Ivy Culver. Christopher Roman. Sean O'Brien. Jacob Johnson. Caleb Christ. Anna Gunning. Austin Wiggins. Megan Ent. Zachary Sanford. Tristan Quick. Harper Ward. Dion Ware. Chase Kramer. Hung Chi Chan. Anthony McLemore. Dwight Bassett, Jr. Allison French. John Putnam. Grayson Bowen. Houston Miller. Dylan McCormick. Noah Waterman. Trey Henderson. Austin Bueller. Jared Gordon, Eric Port, Michael Devine, Reber Porterfield Kennedy III, Second Lieutenant Madison May, 
Colin Miner. Palmer Jones. Guy Van Hiesewijk. James Williams. Haiming Guang. Zhang Xiao. Sun Wang. Grant Humphreys. Haley Clayton. Heather Bagwell. Evan Havard. Miller Albers. Evan Tench. Benton Salter. Sydney Ruas. Maisa Pelton. <laughs> Olivia Hansen. <laughs> Jacob Carter. <laughs> William Carter. <laughs> Mitchell Wallace. <laughs> Taylor Bethay. <laughs> Mary Churchwell. Johnston McCutcheon. Sydney Edgar. Samantha Heine. Henry Hotelling. Zachary Zambricki. Quentin Duper. Catherine McCall. Nicholas Coleman. Megan Cozil. Logan Murphy. Connor Edison. Sydney Wilkerson. Molly Devereaux. <laughs> the College of Education, Dean Betty Lou Whitford, Brianna Allen. Sandra Elaine Bynes. <laughs> Carolyn Vaughn. <laughs> Riley Daniel. <laughs> Claire Broussard. <laughs> Michael Mize. <laughs> Lillian McKay. Sarah Elder. <laughs> Claire Bowling. Ellie Benson, <laughs> Hannah Jackson, <laughs> A Miracle Phillips, Let's go, Catherine Smith, <laughs> Keller Anderson, <laughs> Teresa Bianca, <laughs> Madison Dobbs, <laughs> Paige Lindback. Matthew Summerlin, Kyle Monroe, Logan Caudle, Clinton Dofredo Wyatt, Thomas Wilkinson, Kelly Canant, Naren Dubose. Avery Batson. Nicole Hurtado. Victoria Delvas. Haley Falcons. Morgan Bramlett. 
Brittany Harville. <laughs> Alyssa Parfrey. Christopher Nice. Congratulations, graduates. You're now members of the Auburn alumni family. Gretchen Van Valkenburg, the Vice President of Alumni Affairs and Executive Director for the Auburn Alumni Association, is here to welcome you to this exceptional group. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Van Valkenburg. Thank you, Provost Hargrave. Congratulations and War Eagle! Now that you have completed the academic requirements and earned your Auburn University degree, you join a group of alumni who, like you, believe in work, hard work, honesty and truthfulness, and a spirit that is not afraid. Auburn University alumni have used their degrees to serve others, better their communities, and succeed in ways they never would have imagined when they earned their degree. I have no doubt all of you will do the same. You became a member of the Auburn family when you made the decision to attend Auburn University. You made friends that will last a lifetime. You greeted strangers on heyday. You rolled Tumor's Corner after a win. You studied, you played, and you belonged. Would all Auburn alumni in attendance today please stand so that we may recognize you? And that includes you all, too. Thank you. You may be seated. Today, it is my honor to welcome you as the newest members of the Auburn Alumni Association. You have been greeted by our Alumni Association volunteers and provided with an alumni pin. I really hope you will wear that as often as possible. As you head out into the world, please remember that your Auburn Alumni Association is here to assist you when staying connected with the university and with one another. Whether you stay here in the loveliest village or you move across continents, there are plenty of ways to remain close to Auburn University. I encourage you to connect to the vast Auburn alumni network. Download the Forever AU app, find a local club or affiliate group, please stay in touch with your schools and colleges. And once you're established, let us know what you're doing. We have a young alumni blog and we would love to brag about you. You can visit our website to explore the many services and programs that we have available or read our Auburn University magazine online. Welcome again to your Auburn Alumni Association. I am so proud to share this special day with you. It is my hope that all of you will always believe in Auburn and love it. Congratulations again and War Eagle! As we conclude our ceremony, I'd like to take a moment for us to recognize those who have made this day possible. Please join me in thanking Auburn University's graduation committee and all those who have worked to make this commencement ceremony a success. And finally, graduates, thank you for choosing Auburn University. It has been our pleasure to serve you as educators, mentors, and friends. May you experience a truly successful life. 
You may now turn your tassels to the left. We will conclude our ceremony with the singing of the alma mater played, led by Philip McCowan. Please stand and remain standing until the platform party, faculty, and the new doctors have recessed from the area. Students, you may drop off your cap and gown as you exit to your right. Thank you.